The Phantom Blood movie was released to theaters in 2007. It was the first attempt at adapting Part 1 until the 2012 anime series. The movie is often criticized for its inaccuracy and for cutting out multiple plot elements. However, the most interesting thing about the movie is that it cannot be watched at this time. The film did not receive a home video release, so the full movie has only been seen by the people who went to the theater in 2007. The only footage currently available is the trailer, some screenshots, and 15 minutes of footage acquired by an audio design professor. However, from accounts of people who saw the movie, there is a list online of the various changes. So using the available footage and that list, I'll be going over the known differences between the manga and the part one movie. During the film's theatrical release, the Aztec prologue scene from the Phantom Blood PS2 game was apparently shown before the movie. Dio's inner monologues as a child are removed. In the manga, Dio knees Danny when he is running towards him. In the movie, Dio approaches Danny and kicks him. The scene of Dio grabbing Jonathan's wrist happens upstairs instead of in the main hall. The boxing match, rugby game, and Jonathan's first meeting with Arena are skipped. In the scene where Dio steals Jonathan's pocket watch, the picture of Jonathan's mother is also broken. New scenes of Dio bullying Jonathan are added. Dio stepping on the necklace given to Jonathan by Arena, and Dio placing a needle in Jonathan's bed. The explanation of the properties of Haman are not explained clearly. Speedwagon's role in the movie is greatly reduced. He only appears in Ochre Street as a minor villain, and does not join Jonathan like in the manga. The character Jack the Ripper and his fight with Jonathan are not included. Dio uses his powers to create his castle in Wind Knight's lot. In the manga, he moved into an empty castle. The scene of Bruford giving his sword to Jonathan is skipped. Tonpetty appears, but the characters Poco, Dyer, and Straits are not included. The flashback of Tonpetty and Sapelli is on a cliffside instead of a tightrope. The scene of Dio clashing with Jonathan and Sapelli takes place after the Tarkus and Bruford fight. Dio's famous line about bread is not included. Zapelli is killed by Dio in a manner similar to Dyer's death in the manga. Zapelli's hair color does not change after giving Jonathan his life energy. Dio uses his Space Ripper stingy eyes more against Jonathan during the fight. Jonathan does not light his glove on fire to thaw his arm. He instead powers up with Hamon to melt it. The movie has an error where the ship Jonathan and Arena board is crossing the Pacific Ocean instead of the Atlantic. However, Arida is still rescued near the Canary Islands like in the manga. The baby Lisa Lisa is apparently not present in the film, so it is unknown how she would have been introduced in a potential sequel. And that was every known difference with the Phantom Blood movie. While the animation looked quite nice, I'm not sure if fans would have enjoyed this movie. The sheer amount of story content and fan favorite moments that were removed may have crossed the line. But while I don't think the movie would be very good, I do wish for this movie to be released to the public in some way. However, I really don't see that happening since it has been over a decade since the film's release. For the next part in the JoJo Anime and Manga Differences series, I'll be looking at the Part 4 adaptation. Thank you for watching. This is the part of the video where I thank my $5 patrons. Thank you Alex Ramirez, thank you Renee Klein, thank you Fox, thank you Keo, and thank you Boat Girl.